Court does call the case, People versus Anthony Williams. Good morning, Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perrin, on behalf of Mr. Williams, who is approaching the podium. Mr. Williams, will you give us a quick name for the record? Anthony Williams. Where is it? Your Honor, today is a date and time set for a bond violation hearing. Um, at the probable cause conference last Thursday, um, we did address these violations on the record where the defendant was bowling numbers. It was my understanding um, that he didn't deny bowling the numbers. Um, but I don't recall what he stated the reason was. Your Honor, my client says that he was consuming NyQuil and that's why he blew the positive numbers. Um, he does deny that he drank any alcohol um, and says that the numbers came from NyQuil. Well, Okay, so he says he's drinking NyQuil. Yes. And that NyQuil brought him up to these numbers of 0.053? Yes, I think the highest one was a 0.09, um, and he does say that he consumed Just quite a bit of NyQuil. Really? Your client does realize that NyQuil contains some alcohol? Yes, yes. So he's not disputing that the numbers are on here. He's just saying the reason he did that, because your client's also aware, though, that he is not to consume any alcohol from whatever source. He says he, and correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Williams, he says he was not informed of that when he got the sober link or sober uh, link device from community. Look, counsel, I don't mind having a hearing on it. I don't know what you're going to put forth. He's admitted that he's doing the, that he drank something containing alcohol. We can get the paperwork where it will indicate that he's not to consume alcohol from whatever source. Right. But, you know, so that you can be prepared for this, appreciate my skepticism because the amount of NyQuil that you would have to drink to get to an 09 is significant, Your Honor. And I have significant in like a number of bottles. I, yeah, I have had these conversations with him and he, he does he understand that what that I will also honesty I could deal with where people make a mistake. If people make a mistake and then initially lie about it, okay, sometimes that happens. But that if he's coming to me with that story today, we're going to have a problem. Yes, we have had these conversations. I think that's fair, Mr. Williams. I've explained the judge's probable stance on. I told you, I told you, I messed up. I'm going to do it again. Do you want me to get the paperwork that says that he's not to consume alcohol from any source? Because that seems to me to be the only issue. My understanding of corrections is that paperwork is given to every single person that is a consumer of community corrections and that they sign that paperwork. So that would be quite easy to, to get over to the court and to Ms. Pranny. Judge, I mean, he maintains he only consumed uh, NyQuil and he didn't receive okay. the paperwork. Let me just say. If I assume that to be correct, he's admitted drinking NyQuil. Assume that's correct. Don't believe it's correct, but what the heck? Just take him at his word. Then the only issue becomes whether or not he would have received notification that consuming alcohol from any source would be a violation. Correct. Would you agree? Correct, yes. All right. Then, Ms. Kirby, how long will that take us to get that paperwork on him? I'm messaging community corrections right now, and I, I should be able to get it within the next 15 minutes. Okay. So while we await that paperwork, and you're going to have to be able to go over that paperwork with your client, 
I'm going to remand a defendant to custody. And then once that paperwork comes in, we'll get it to your counsel and then we can go from there. Defendants remanded at this time pending the continuation of the hearing. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Elman, you want to go next? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Just <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good joke to tell people. <laughs> <laughs> or does call recall the case of the people versus Anthony Williams? Well, we seem to be missing somebody, like a public defender. Apologies, Your Honor. Assistant Public Defender Lauren Perry on behalf of Mr. Williams. All right. <clears throat> okay. We have received the documentation from the um from community corrections regarding the sober link and you've had an opportunity to see that review it and go over it with your client that's correct your honor i did speak have another conversation with them both about um that paperwork and the tests he would now like to admit to um, consuming alcohol while on the sober link device um, to go back to the original allegation and the violation um i think he's struggling he now admits to the violation yes that's correct I think he's struggling kind of coming to terms with um, his alcohol the problem. Truth? No, I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt you. Go ahead. Kat. <laughs> right. Your, your Honor. I mean, his his alcohol problem. Um, we did discuss, you know, the possibility of treatment and he is open to treatment. We did discuss an alcohol assessment. I think we want to start there. Um, and he was open to that as well. I talked to him about getting our social workers involved to see what we can do for him to get that process starting. But I, I really do think that um, you know, it, it took him to while, a while to admit to um, having a, a, a problem, but he does um, say he messed up and he acknowledges that and now wants to fully admit to all the all the allegations. Is that correct, young man? You admit to the violations? Yes, sir. Anything you want to say before I sentence you on these violations? No, sir. Why were you lying about it? That was a question. Yes, I just got alcohol on you somehow. Do we have a new hearing date set on this? Well, the during the pre-trial in this matter, which was also set for today, to October 4th, 2023, 9 a.m. Um, regarding your sentence on this matter, I, you know, young man, and I, I said it before you went and back that, you know, I can deal with people who are going to tell me the truth and then we can go from there. But... And you're going to do that and then you lie about it and everybody's got to go through all of these machinations to try to figure that out and i told you what this form was going to say about consuming alcohol so even if you were able to down that much nyquil which i don't know that physically you would i think that you would pass out before you would get to an 09 but that's okay um you still persisted, and to what end? I mean, the reality is, is that if you had asked somebody for help, certainly if you had asked your attorney for help, they would have found a way with what she's laid out here today. But you wanted to take the hard road. Maybe, maybe from that, you'll learn that that's not necessarily the way to go about doing things. Sense of the court on the violation, 30 days, Washtenaw County Jail. Court will consider release if there is inpatient treatment. Defendant remanded. 